All right, so this problem, we've got a cylinder, which is this. It's a shape that has a circular base, and it goes straight up and down, so it's kind of like a part of a cup or a Pringles tube or, or, a, or a pipe or whatever, right? It's a cylinder. And the volume of that cylinder or that pipe or that tube or that cup or whatever you're working with is pi times the radius squared times the height. Now, pi r squared is actually the area of the circular base. That's pi r squared. And if you then multiply that by the height or the length of your, your pipe or whatever, you will then get the volume of that cylinder. So anyway, we're given the volume is 42. And we're approximating pi as 22 over 7. Pi is 3.14, blah, 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 blah. It goes on forever. Um, but th that's approximation. So pi on a calculator is, whoop. Um, uh, so pi in a calculator is just, oh, is 3.14159265454, and it goes on and on forever. It's an irrational number that goes on and on forever. So um, we can never really write it down. We'd be writing forever. We just can only approximate it. So oftentimes you say, well, we'll just take it to be 3.14. But sometimes people, folks go, let's do 22 over 7. And that is a little bit better than three, just saying 3.14. It's, it's kind of close. It's like a fraction approximation for pi. It's not exactly pi, but it's good enough for a lot of applications. So anyway, we're approximating pi with 22 over 7. And then r squared is 7 over 22. So 7 over 22, and it's all squared. So this is an important part here. We plug in the R, we, we square it like that, and then times H, and times H, right? So um, we're just going to do a, a nice little simplification here. We're going to go, this 7 over 22 is squared, so I'm going to write that out twice, like this, 7 over 22, 7 over 22, because that's what squared means. You multiply it by itself. So that's a key part of this problem. Does that make sense? Yep. Great. And so I've got H and then I've got 22 over 7 and that's equal to 42. And now I can cross cancel because 7 into 7 goes once here and here. 22 into itself goes once here and here. And so now I have 42 equals <coughs> 7 over 22 times h, because these guys cross-cancel and made ones, right? You okay with that? Yes. And now we should um, get h on its own. Now, to get h on its own, we kind of want to get 1 h, 1 h, because 1 times h is just h, right? Or h. So what do you guys say in America, anyway? H. H. Ah, oh, yeah, same in, same in London, h. Well, it's supposed to be H, so H, and it's it's pronounced like this, so I hope you'll all uh, catch on. Oh, T-C-H, right there, so let's start H-A-Y-T-C-H, okay, so if you could all please say that, that would be great. I will teach you all how to talk, H. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, and by the way, if anyone is doing a oral test and they say H, they will get an automatic zero in my class. They have to say H. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> I'm just teasing. So 22, if I multiply by 22 over 7, that's the trick here because that is the reciprocal. 22 over 7. Because if I multiply by 20 over 2 over 7, I'll turn that into a 1, and I'll get 1 times H, right? Does that make sense? Yes. Because the 22s cross cancel on the bottom, top and bottom, and the 7s cross cancel on top and bottom. But if I multiply the right by 22 over 7, got to multiply the left also by 22 over 7. Right? 
And now this 42 is 42 over 1. 7 into 7 goes once. 7 into 42 goes 6 times. So I actually have 6 times 22 over 1. 2 times 6. 6 times 2. 2 is 12, carry 1, 6 times 2 is 12, 1 is 132, right? So we get H on the right and 132 on the left. So the answer is um, that the height is, a, the height, a height is 132 feet if we have this volume and this radius, and that's pi, right? So the cylinder is 132 feet high, which is very high. By golly, that must be some sort of a tower or something, right? Okay.